Um, when I was out in Belgium, I got put in a, a big house, which I was uh, obviously there by myself. Um, training was fine to start off with, and then obviously wasn't really getting in the team. Obviously doubts were, were hitting me. Um, couldn't sleep at night, I couldn't eat. Um, I didn't really get out of the house, there was nothing else to do from, from after training. And then further on through, through the year, I didn't really want to get up and go to training. I, I just couldn't be bothered. I didn't think I was, um, I didn't think I enjoyed it anymore. Uh, I remember one day, it was like four o'clock in the morning, I was uh, texting my, my mum actually, and she obviously she was, she knew about my situation. So luckily her phone was, was on and we were talking about my struggles here and, and seeing what my agent could do. Um, and this was obviously, like I said, this was like four o'clock in the morning. So I was training the next day and I was so lethargic in training. I couldn't, like I said before, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. Um, I seen a, a psychiatrist out there um, which, which helped things. Um, I think the first thing he said to me was the, the best thing I could do was admit to myself that I have this problem. Um, and once I admitted that I have it, um, it was a lot easier to talk to, to him and other people about it. Um, it was, obviously it's not easy to go through go through this this illness but um, I had obviously that psychiatrist out there he, he helped me a lot I had my family that was just a phone call away and I also had another psychiatrist over in England who I spoke to quite a lot you, you, it's like a breath of fresh air really it's you can get a lot off your chest once you get comfortable obviously it's not going to be opening up straight away you've got to trust this person you've got to obviously bounce off each other um, but once that once you get past that initial stage it's it's a lot easier and I say it's, it's a big weight off your shoulders you feel like you, you start feeling yourself again uh, you start believing in yourself again um, but like I say it's, it's not easy like I say it's, it's a breath of fresh air you, you become yourself again um, you start obviously taking things into perceptive and it's it's a lot easier it is I don't know how to, to explain it but the feeling that I got was just joy like I could actually love the game of football again and wanting to go to training and wanting to work hard it's just a lot lot easier so I do I do wish that people who are struggling to, to speak out and, and seek advice I am enjoying my time. Obviously, I wish I, um, I had more game time, but you know the lads are doing well in recent form. Obviously, we got to Wembley uh, the other day, so we're looking forward to that. Um, me personally, again, enjoying myself. I have family around me now. Got my girlfriend that's, that's always keeping me on my toes, um, and I just got love and support around me all the time. Um, well, I was, the gaff has been good with me, to be fair. Um, if I've got any problems, I can, well, he's, he said that he, I can go over to him and speak to him at any time. Um, but regards of not having the game time, again, I go and speak to him and, and he tells me what I need to do in training more. And, and then obviously after that, the chat, I go out there and, and try and do my best. Were you um, scared to initially come out and talk about the struggles that you've been through? I was, yeah, because I'm quite a big character. In the, in the changing room, I like to have a, a laugh and a joke. Um, I still do, I still try my best. But um, it, it is hard uh, I didn't want to feel judged. But once I knew a few friends um, that came out and spoke to me about themselves and obviously people um, from, other, from other clubs have come out and spoken about it, it's like I wasn't alone. So. And now the Mind Charity that's been involved, and then what was it three weeks ago when we had the uh, Make a Conversation uh, T-shirts on in the game? So it's it's a lot a lot of charities are, are coming up to 
um, advise people to help and make awareness of, of this illness. The gaffer might seem unapproachable at games, but that's, that's him, that's his focus. Um, but outside of training and games, he's an easy person to talk to. He'll um, give you advice if you need it. He'll tell you what you need to do in training or outside of training. And it's, it's a lot easier for, for, for myself and, and for the lads. We're just normal people at the end of the day. Uh, some people think we're these machines and we, we don't have, we don't live in the real world, but we actually do and it's, we're only humans at the end of the day. They have to come from themselves, I mean, like it's just making a conversation at the end of the day. It's one day you could be absolutely fine and the next day you could, it, anything can trigger off, like a mistake, family members, anything anything can, can trigger it off and it's, it's hard because you really can't control your brain if that makes sense if if something triggers it then it's then it's there and it's it's there for for life but you can overcome it it's like obviously learning and learning how to deal with things when you do feel in a bad mood or you do feel down or you do feel anxiety or depression it's it's learning to to deal with it um, but coming out, they have to accept it themselves first before they come out with anything, with speaking about anything to, to any, anyone else. Um, I think that's the hardest thing the person can do is accepting it for themselves. I think chewing gum really helps me. I don't know why. It, it calms me down if I, I feel nervous. Um, chewing gum, talking about it. Um, just trying to get my mind off it. Like I say, you never, you can never go past or beat the illness. It's always there. It's learning how to, how to deal with it. Um, but like I say, mine was probably just chewing gum, trying to speak to people, even if I am down, just try and speak anything but that. But I think that helps me because I forget that I have it and I'm feeling down and then I concentrate on the other person's well-being, should I say. Any advice or any promotion to, to get this out is obviously amazing. And just know that if you do have depression or anxiety, you're never alone.